Welcome to the desert and inside Chase Field in Phoenix. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Mets and the Arizona Diamondbacks. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Well, so you here in Arizona, and this is a ballpark where traditionally the ball has jumped, but a few years back they installed that humidor, and now offense has been neutral. First pitch moments away, and our pitcher tonight, Tommy Henry. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, but he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a hitter's time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Makes the grab one down. Here's Tommy Pham. Next pitch has popped up. Walker settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two away. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Puts the squeeze on it, and that is that. And the Mets go. Welcome back. And today's starter, Justin Verlander. And as usual with him singing, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so expect to see more of the same in this one. Now it's the second baseman, Geraldo Perdomo. Ball one, no strikes. Yeah, when you get to the big leagues, you think about, you know, filling up the back of your bubblegum card. This guy needs a couple of them to put all the accomplishments that he's had in his career. Here's a 1-1. And now 1-2. One and two. The 1-1 one is fouled off. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. Evan Longoria, batting with one down, takes a strike. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. I'm always interested in guys like Evan Longoria. He didn't have any scholarship offers out of high school, wasn't drafted out of high school, but eventually ended up at Long Beach State and became a first-round pick. How do you go from not drafted to a first-rounder? Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction table setters on the base paths and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie and instead of it being a solo shot it's a two or three run homer that one's in there and the count even at one way out front for strike two man he really sells the change up with that arm action Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing doing for Arizona. We played an inning. No score. And welcome back. Stepping in the long ball threat, Pete Alonzo. And he deals. Pitch misses there. And that is ball one. And now the lefty. Center field. Thomas gets under it. Squeezes it. One up, one down. Here's Starling Marte. Top. 
Swing and a miss. Going one. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Jeff McNeil stands in. Swings and misses. 0-1. Marte leads off first with one away. Next pitch has popped up. Longoria hauls it in two away. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Up the middle. Gathers and throws to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Met Bottom half of inning number two, and now it's Christian Walker. That's in for a strike. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Walker, and he tied the College World Series record for most career hits with 28. Pitch misses. A it's a ball and two strikes. It's a good take. And a pitch. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Here's Guriel. And that's him for a strike. Verlander, the reigning Cy Young Award winner, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it, and that's important because you got to make guys earn it. That's the next goal. pitch misses, ball one. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good, but outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Got it by him for the K. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Jake McCarthy in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. On the ground to third. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. Kelly. In there for strike one. Runner on the go. There's a ball. Pro save. That's a stolen base. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Out to short. Lindor on the first. That's the third out. Inning over. One left for the Diamondback. Back here at Chase Field, all set for the start of the inning. And here is Brett Beatty. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, Flair, Duck Snort, Lawn Dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knot. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. The 0-1. To short, could be two. To second for one. To Walker, and that's two. 
Here's Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 1 so far. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw, and he reaches safely. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now, here is... That's a laser base hit. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Runner, well, going to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. Two left for the Mets, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here in the desert, leading off Nick Ahmed. The wind and the pitch. They say it went. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, he's ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it and hit it hard. Had the distance, but just too much hook to it. So might want to make a little bit of an adjustment. Let it travel a little more and see if you can keep that thing fair. Alec Thomas now. Now this is in the air down the line. And that one gets down. Fair ball. And into second with one away. That's a double. Waste no time there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Perdomo batting for the second time. And that's strike one. He's 0 for 1. The pitch stays alive. And the 0 2. Bows it back with two strikes. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And a ball and two strikes to the right side. And that one handled. Fires over to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. And that's in there for strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. And that one fouled off. 0-2 oh, now. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Pete Alonzo. And a foul ball. Well, these Mets just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits. So they might want to be a little more selective up there. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's the right fielder, Starling Marte. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Hit weakly on the ground. Perdomo. Marte retired. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now here's Jeff McNeil. He popped out his first time. And a foul ball. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Line drive. Makes the grab for the second out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. But competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. 
And first offering is fouled off. Alonso stands at second with two gone. That one hit to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. Around third. McCarthy fires it to the plate. And he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there. And he found a way. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Popped in the air, left side. Ahmed puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. And stepping in is the speedy Corbin Carroll. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Well, these Diamondbacks, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. His first at bat was a strikeout. In there, and it's 0-1. Just missed. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And he hits a ground ball right side. He steps on the bag. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There's a strike. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. And welcome back. And now, Mark Canna. Henry, back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Thomas sizing it up. He's got it. And a quick out number one. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Tap softly to the right side, and it goes just foul. you one. Ground ball right side. Walker takes it to the bag. And a couple of quick outs. Tommy Pham up now for the Mets. One for two. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. McCarthy makes the play and it's out number three. Back here at Chase Field. And the batter now, Jake McCarthy. The pitch. Just a weak fly ball this time. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. 
He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Kelly takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Bounce to third. Two up, two down. Nick Ahmed here to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now wanted one. Next pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. Now this offense has just been locked down almost five full innings of shutout baseball and a pop up right side foul territory Alonso flashes the leather on the running catch Diamondbacks down quickly still behind back here in the desert Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate the why to kick the pitch short hop liner handled it short to first and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs, Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was teammates there with Harrison Bader. Base knock center field. Could be extra bases. But now they hold him to a single. Doesn't have plus speed, so I guess they didn't want to try and stretch it there. Starling Marte up to him. Next pitch is popped up. Perdomo makes the catch. And there's two down. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or a weak contact in the infield. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Here comes the 0-1. That one to first. He takes it on his own. That ends the frame. So no run. Well, we go bottom six, and now Alec Thomas, the right-hander back to work. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Left-hand hitter waits. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Knocks it down. He doesn't have a play, and they come away without an out. Good two-strike hitting right there, Berg. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Line drive, that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Longoria in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Fought off foul. Thomas on second. Perdomo at first with no outs. Swing and a miss. One and two. This one in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. This is Corbin Carroll. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. First offering misses the mark. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Next offering is in for a strike. Two and 
two on, one out. Diving, and he can't make the play. Kenna fires it to the plate. The run comes in to score from second. We're tied at one. Picks himself up an RBI. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. Double steal. Out towards right center field. Marte moves under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. In there for strike one. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed difference. is right where it needs to be. The 1-1. One, one. And now two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Got him! Good job at damage control right there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. We go to the top of the seventh and stepping in for New York, Francisco Alvarez. Ground ball left side. Ahmed gets it to first. One up, one down. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. This one high in the air to left center. Thomas sizing it up. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there are two down. Here's Mark Canna. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. Mark Canna takes him deep. His seventh home run of the season. And they jump in front in the seventh. It's 2-1. Well, he went up there 0-0 oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And now the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo, one for three. Lined, and that's a base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Maybe a little love. New pitcher now, Dre Jamison. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Yeah, the batter now, Tommy Pham, on the ground to the left. Gets it to first, third out. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the year. Getting, and now the right fielder, Jake McCarthy. Verlander, back to work. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The tying run at the plate. 
All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. That's inside. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth That's inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. In the dirt. Toss to Alonzo, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Carson Kelly. And here comes the Mets man. Brooks Raley on to pitch here. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Strike on the outside. Going one. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Going oh two now. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Next to hit for Arizona, Nick Ahmed. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Next pitch is outside, and it's two and two. And down on strikes he goes. That's his second strikeout, and the Diamondbacks down in order. And our score remains 2-1. 
We're at the top of the eighth. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Lindor. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Mets, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Alonso now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Here's the 0-2. He caught it behind his back. Nicely done for the out. Now it's the right fielder, Starling Marte. That one the other way. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. D-backs making a move for a pinch hitter, Gabriel Moreno. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. And there's the strike. Out to short. On the run, throw to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Geraldo Perdomo. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. First pitch, just misses. And that's outside. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And today... This game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And there's two down. So two down. Now, and here is Evan Longoria. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Adam Adovino. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good eye right there. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. This to third. Baden. Whips it to first. Longoria retired. And that is... Now into the game, Kyle Lewis. He'll be patrolling center field. Well, one run game. And stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. 
High fly ball out into left center field. Guriel handles the chance. Next to hit, Francisco Alvarez. In the air out to center, Lewis sizes this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. On the ground, right side. And they go down fast. Three outs on three pitches. And welcome back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now it's the DH, Corbin Carroll. And here it comes. Up the middle. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. No outs. Runner at first. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. In the air, right field. Marte moves under it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now the left field. Lourdes Goriel Jr. First pitch, and he just misses. Way to lay off that pitch down. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. Oh, he throws it away. And they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. He's two outs away. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Ball one, no strikes. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Next pitch downstairs, and now 3 0. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And the 3 0 finds his own. Popped up. And it's just foul. The kick, the 3 2. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. I don't know what he's looking for right there. You have to be ready to swing the bat. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. Here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. Trying to deliver as the hero. That one called a strike. 1 1. Two outs. Both the tying and winning runs are on. And the 1. They say it went. Just missed the inside corner. It's a ball and two strikes. That one missed. Two two on the way. And that one off the outside edge. Winning run stands at second. And a swing and a miss. The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. 
never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Two runs, nine hits, two errors. They left six men on base. For the Diamondbacks, one run, five hits, no errors. They left.